Hey, this is Mike, the cop magnet Barsky. You're watching LCL Report. My name is Tracy Ward, and I listen to Free Talk Live. Ian, man up. Stop being such a baby about crap. And Mark, I love you, but sometimes you don't. You just go off on those rants just a little bit too hardcore. Love you guys. <laughs> Hi, this is Terry Lupo. Welcome to Low Country Liberty Report. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Mike Barsky. Mike is an activist in New Hampshire who started a service called Mail to Jail. You also might know him from Pimp My Activism. Mike started the service Mail to Jail um, in order to make an easy way for people to communicate with jailed activists. In other words, all you have to do is go to mail-to-jail.com and you can just simply email a letter and Mike takes care of all the dirty work. He makes the stamp, he prints it out, he addresses the label and it goes to prison. Um, this has happened lots of times to activists and right now if you go there you'll see the current list of activists. The reason I bring this up is because Mike is thinking about <laughs> I think Mike might need his own service soon. Mike is uh, kind of a professional cop magnet. He always seems to get harassed by police but most currently what you what usually happens is Mike will get ready for a case, put all this work in, show up, and the day he arrives, after all that trouble, they dismiss his case a couple minutes before it starts. So this has happened to him twice, I believe, and now it's a third time. I can't remember what this is for. I think some sort of parking or speeding violation, something like that. And so he finally sent a letter saying that he wasn't going to waste his time anymore and do this, that he was done with this system. So probably there's currently a warrant out. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened because I'm still f waiting to find out if they ever responded. I don't think they did. Hi, I'm with Mike Barsky and Mike, I'm, you put together a lot of different things uh, including I've interviewed you about pit my activism but I'm interested in mail to jail. Can you uh, give me an idea what that's all about? Yeah, um, it's a service that uh, automatically, and it's a service that uh, uh, mails letters that you write to uh, jailed activists in New Hampshire. So it doesn't cost you anything, it takes very little effort to send a letter or a postcard. It was very useful with Sam Dotson. How many uh, letters do you think went out during that campaign? Uh, I actually don't remember, although I have records sent, but I believe Sam said he got 150 to about 200 total, and he said mail to jail sent him about 80% of those. So all that's coming out of your pocket, correct? Are, are yeah, you getting I, donations at all? I pay for it. Well, yeah, it's coming out of my pocket, and people do donate, it, and it's really appreciated at mail-to-jail.com, which is where you'd go if you want to send a letter uh, when there are jailed activists. Uh, you can also make a donation there, and I'd really appreciate it. But the important thing is to write the letters. Thank you so much. Thank you. So check out mail-to-jail.com, and uh, that's a great way to throw Mike a couple bucks for what he's doing. Uh, he runs completely on donations. And it's just a great way to help out activists that are in jail. And if you know anyone, you might want to contact Mike. Make sure that they're getting letters. As always, it's Terry Lupo. Good hunting. <laughs>